Alright guys, Tom's Apple Tech Help here and today we're going to be looking at how to unjailbreak your iPod, iPhone, iPad or iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4. Alright so, first what you're going, you're going to have to plug it into iTunes and have this window up saying your device. i got Tom's iPhone that's not plugged in, that's just using the, uh, that. And then, um, Tom's iPod which I've got plugged in. You will need it plugged in to unjailbreak it or restore it as if we're doing. You can't do it over the Wi-Fi. So um, when you get onto here, probably what you're going to want to do first is back up or back up to iCloud if you have loads of apps or something. But I don't, so I'm going to get on straight on with it and click restore. And you you can back up it asks you but I'm not gonna back up and then it says are you sure you want to restore the iPod so it's giving you a chance and I'm gonna click restore now it's extracting the software I just wait for that it's, uh, I'll try and keep this tutorial as short as I can but I probably will edit it to cut some of the stuff off because I want you to see how long it's gonna take So uh, this is part of um, the three tutorials I've done these past two days. And the first one was um, how to set up your new iOS device. And the next one was how to jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1. And this one's how to restore your iPod. So basically this is just showing the people that are new to jailbreak and how to do it I hope you enjoy the videos and subscribe because I've only got 8 subscribers at the moment and I'm looking to get loads more for so I can start doing giveaways and re reviews but I will be having some reviews soon so stay tuned for them uh, I don't know how many reviews I've got I don't think it's a lot but I suppose I ain't got a lot of subscribers Just restoring the iPod software. If you um, if you like the videos being filmed like this, um, tell me and give me like some good feedback. Or if you don't like the way I'm doing them or there's something wrong, tell me as well because I like to improve my videos to help people. Like um, because. I, I spend quite a lot of time on these videos and um, I, w I would like you to enjoy them instead of not enjoying them because I want I want to make them understandable so you're able to understand what I'm saying or stuff like that so I think this is nearly done I will also have a review on my MacBook soon which is here you just see the corner to the MacBook Pro, lovely piece of machine. I was on Windows before this, and I got to say, when you get onto Mac, it's just so much faster. I just can't believe how quiet it is. You can't even hear it. You must be able to hear the tiniest little fan, and on on my Windows computer, it was. It was loud. It was just, it sounded like it was going to take off actually. My PS3 sounds like that as well. Probably get a new PS3, I don't know. Alright, uh, just verifying the iPod software. Got a bit of a cold, so don't mind if I'm making noises. Shouldn't be that long. Alright, it's, uh, it's nearly done here. It's just doing its last bits.
There we go. Alright, it says your iPod has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPod connected. It will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. Alright, so the iPod is starting back up. It's doing some last minute stuff. Basically, after it's done this, it pops back up in iTunes, like that, and then it asks you to set up your iPod, or restart, restore from the back, back up of Tom's iPod. So that was my tutorial for how to unjail break your iPod, if you want to know how to set up your new iPod, or watch my video about that alright so thanks for watching this video guys I'll see you later